Hey everybody, welcome back to another Target $100 shopping spree. Finally, there's some Series 2 on the shelves, so I'm going to pick up a couple of these for my retail review, which you'll see posted today. And now it's time to spend $100 and see what we can find. I'm going to start off with a Bowman Mega Box. That's 20 bucks right there. Uh, they are usually on the shelves now at this Target, which is great. We're also going to grab a Diamond Kings box. Check out what's in there. That takes us to 40. We'll do a hanger box of series two, taking us up to 50 bucks. Next up, I'm gonna grab a blaster box, taking us to $70 of Topps Big League. Let's do a fat pack, taking us to 75. And a hanger box takes us to 85, $15 left to go. And I'm going to take a fat pack here, taking us to no. Got to take a hanger box, 95 plus tax, that's 100 bucks. Let's go home and open them up and see what we can find. All right, everybody, we are back from Target. Picked up a whole bunch of stuff, lots of new stuff that we haven't opened up too often on the channel. I don't think I've opened up any of these hanger boxes yet for Series 2. I'm still waiting on my blaster box for the retail review. That should be coming in very soon. We've got a Big League Blaster, Diamond Kings Blaster, Diamond Kings Hanger Box, some uh, hanger boxes of Series 2, a Fat Pack of Series 2, and a Mega Box. Uh, there's three of these on the shelves. I picked up one and left two, and then my brother told me he actually picked up two Mega Box from Target, so I think he literally must have gone um, kind of right after me and grabbed those. So here we go. Brian, let's see what we can find for you. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Let's start out with... The least expensive, it is a fat pack of Series 2. Inside, we will be looking for a Luis Robert. And the unfortunately, the top card there, the Justin or Justice Sheffield, is dinged. That's what you get with fat packs. Um, typically, not all the time, but sometimes your top or bottom cards could be in jeopardy of being damaged since it's literally just a uh, little plastic wrapper on there protecting it as opposed to a box. So, so far, nothing crazy for Brian. Uh, he does have a Rymel Tapia silver foil insert. Warriors of the Diamond Chipper Jones, some turkey red cards, Mike Schmidt and Mauricio Dubon rookie card. And that's going to do it for that pack. Nothing crazy coming out of that one. Let's continue with Series 2. We'll work our way up from the least expensive to the most expensive. We are going to next do the hanger box of 2020 Series 2 and um, see what we can find. Whenever you do buy these hanger boxes, make sure the, that they haven't been searched. I have seen people try to – they go like this. They will – They'll kind of peer in down at the cards and see if there's a relic in there. So always check your tabs on a hanger box to make sure it's not searched. Here we go, our first one up for Brian. You can see there's no relic in here. I don't know why people search for relics anyway um, like that since relics are typically worth a buck or two on average. The autographs are the big pulls from Series 2, uh, especially like a Luis Robert auto and even more so the short prints, and you're not going to see those by looking at the cross-section of a pack. But anyway, we got Charlie Morton in there. A whole bunch of cards, 67 cards. Hanger box is always the best bang for your buck. 67 cards for 10 bucks, as opposed to 99 cards for 20 bucks in a blaster. Have not yet seen blasters on the shelves anywhere around here, unfortunately. Willie Calhoun, Chad Wallach. Shaw Mania. There's a Victor Robles card as we get towards the end of our stack here. This is where all the good stuff is going to be. All the inserts. Still haven't found a Luis Robert yet. I feel like I've opened so much Series 2 and I've yet to find a Luis Robert gold or any of the um, parallels. There's a D.D. Gregorius. I really want to find his Independence Day out of 76. Clayton Kershaw. We've got some Turkey Reds. Tony Gwynn. Tyler Glass now. Mariana Rivera and TJ Zook is the last one. So you get four of those turkey reds in a hanger box, which is doubled up from what you get in a fat pack. Let's see what we can find now in this next hanger box. Usually I open the hanger boxes from the bottom. It's just a lot easier. The cards are just right down there waiting to be looked through. After we do this, we will move ahead to our hanger box of Diamond Kings. And uh, let's see what we can find. I actually did a Diamond Kings retail review like two weeks ago, and I just never uploaded it to the channel. I, I don't know why I forgot to do so. But uh, had some really good luck in my retail review of Diamond Kings. Um, 
literally, you probably wouldn't believe how many hits I pulled out of retail. We'll see if we can do it again. Um, I'll give you a hint. It was more than two out of a hanger and one blaster. All right, so lots of base cards. I am not crazy about the checklist for Series 2. I think it's extremely weak. The only good base card you can find is a Luis Robert, and unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to find him at all. Let's see what we can find for the insert cards. Now, there's a home run challenge card of Mike Trout. We have an Austin Slater foil card, another Mike Trout significant statistics card. There's a Sano 85, Joey Votto, Turkey Reds, Koufax, Anthony K, rookie card, and Junior Fernandez is the last one there. So out of all those packs, nothing really great to write home about. Let's see if we could change that now with the Hanger Box of Diamond Kings, a $10 Hanger Box, only 20 cards, but you do get an exclusive red frame parallel card. One of those cards that have that frame around it. They're pretty nice. Let's see what we can find. There's the cross section. I do not see a relic hit, unfortunately. And I, I do like how Panini wraps their uh, hanger boxes in plastic to um, thwart the pack searchers that like to peer on in there. So we got Johnny Pesky leading things off. I hope we can find an autograph for Brian. Uh, let's see what we got. Here comes the red framed border cards. That gallon rookie card. It's Edwin Rios rookie card from the Dodgers. Artist proof of Bob Feller. There's Reggie Jackson. Nice looking card right there. In the zone. Whit Merrifield. Albert Pujols. Puckett. Cabrera. Ted Williams. And Bob Feller against the two fellers. That unfortunately was a kind of a dud of a hanger box. Let's see if the blaster can redeem us here. And uh, get something good out of this. We'll save the Mega Box for last. Those Mega Boxes are still really high in demand. People like to prospect, that's for sure. There we go. All of the packs are out and on the table. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully there's going to be a hit in here. So we start things off with a Beau Bichette rookie card, which is a nice one. Johnny Bench. You got a framed Lou Gehrig card. And I think it, I threw the box away already, but I think there's three framed blue parallels in here. So it'd be nice to find one of the top rookie cards in this class, like a Jordan Alvarez or Gavin Lux. Our next pack, we got Glaber Torres right there. And there's Fernando Tatis Jr., Michael King, Kurt Schilling, artist proof. He'll be in the Hall of Fame next year. A very nice all-time Diamond Kings, Ken Griffey Jr. That's one of the best-looking cards in the whole set. That's Griffey in his prime right there. Great picture of the kid. Next pack up for Brian, we've got a Mookie Betts. Davey Grew on. Let's get Brian's name on the screen there. Bruce Star Gratterall, Mookie Betts again. So two Mookie Betts. Hank Greenberg, artist proof. And there's the 206 Betts card in his Boston Red Sox uniform. All right, so it looks like I'm um, trying to feel these cards up to see if um, there's a hit in here. This one feels a little thicker, and there we go. Looks like we do have a hit. I guess I'll save that for the end of the, the packs here because these other three packs probably aren't going to have a hit. It'd be nice if they have an autograph in there, but you never know. We'll open them up and see. There's an Ichiro card and Artist Palette. Javi Baez, nice-looking card right there for Brian. Two more packs left, and then next up... We'll check out the hit and then move on to a big league blaster. I've never opened big league before, at least a blaster. I opened tons of the hobby boxes. A nice artist proof of Chipper Jones, all-time Diamond Kings Robbie Alomar, and there's a Ronald Acuna Jr. Gallery of the Stars. Nice-looking card right there. Some folks really like Diamond Kings. Uh, it is a pretty cool set. I like the hobby boxes, how they balance those out. There's Mickey Mantle on the back. Mantle, of course, only appears on Panini products as they hold the rights to him. Tops can't put him on any of their cards. It's a very nice-looking Mantle Diamond King card right there. Let's check out our hit. Hopefully, it's a good one. Stan the Man Musials at the back of the pack. Mr. 3000 Hit Club right there. It's going to be one of those Indigo Double Relics, and it is Juan Soto. So a nice hit right there. Juan Soto Double Relic for Brian. That's the best hit so far. I'll put that on the screen as my favorite card of the day. We'll see if anything can defeat that. Next up, we're going to big league looking for autographs. 10 packs plus one bonus pack. So a grand total of 11 packs in here, which is pretty good for um, 20 bucks, Less than $2 a pack. 
Let's see what we can find. Hey, you can also clip out this exclusive, I didn't even realize this was here, Aristides Aquino. Um, I don't know, Brian, if you want me to clip that out or not. I guess I can try to... Hey, you got a nice Luis Robert parallel. How about that one? Let me go ahead and try to do this without screwing this up and cutting right through the Aquino. I probably will... Um, I'm not the greatest box cutter in the world, but I'll try to just clip this card out for Brian. And uh, I guess we'll do this later. You're probably like, come on, Jabs, let's get to it. Luis Robert, very nice blue border parallel. As you remember, you get the orange parallels in each pack. So that's a nice hit right there. Congrats on that one, Brian. Uh, that I, I don't know if that's going to take care of my favorite card of the day or not. A pretty darn good one for sure. Luis Robert Blue. I'm almost tempted to pause the video and go run in, on eBay and check what that goes for. We've got a Josh Bell sketch card, Alex Young Orange, Brendan Rogers, Sage Leaders, and Kyle Seeger making the throw across the diamond. Next pack up for Bry. Let's see what we've got. A Paul Goldschmidt on the back. There's Charlie Blackman on the front. Eduardo Escobar. You can find autographs in here, so hopefully we can find one. I'm not expecting one. There's Jordan Alvarez. I feel like Jordan has probably like four base cards in the big league set. The league leaders, highlights, base card, and probably something else. There's Raphael Devers, Wilson Contreras, Kyle Schwarber getting doused with seeds and water at the same time. Aaron Hicks, Pujols, and Josh Hader is the last one right there. So 11 total packs here of big league. One of the nice low budget releases for those of you that don't like to spend a ton on cards but still love cards this is a pretty good set i personally would probably recommend you go and picking up a hobby box you get 18 packs in a hobby box for about 30 to 40 dollars and um a pretty good shot at finding an auto usually it's like one in every two boxes has an autograph which is very very good considering when you buy a hobby box of regular tops it's like one in every five boxes or even worse that have an autograph and you pay two to three times as much depending on the series series two is way down it keeps dropping uh, for a hobby box but anyway let's see we've got three packs left kind of cool how they put different players on each pack Jordan Alvarez and Pete Alonso on that one Devers and Judge on the other Jonathan Scope Votto we've got a CJ Crone right there Andrelton Simmons Jose Abreu two packs left for Bry looking for an autograph I picked these up. Um, you might you might think, why didn't you just buy all three Bowman Mega Boxes? Well, that Target specifically has a two box limit, and um, anytime I buy a couple boxes, people give me uh, guff like, why didn't you just save some for everybody else? When literally, I, I only ever buy one or two of them. Um, I think the most I ever bought of a Mega Box is was two, maybe. But anyway, here we go. We have Luis Robert. Let's check out this pack. It's the bonus pack, and how about getting a Luis Robert as your first card? That's a great one. Uh, that ties for my favorite card of the day. Let's check out the other cards in here. Unfortunately, they're all commons, but that uh, Robert saved that box for me. Our last box up, it's a Bowman Mega Box. Let's see if we can find a Dominguez, a Robert Pawson, or a Bobby Witt Jr. Lots of the top stars on there. Aquino, Nico Horner, Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, AJ Puck, all featured on the front of the box. You can tell that Topps considers those the top five rookies in this year's class. Uh, let's see what we've got coming out of here. Or top six rookies, sorry. All right, so there's all the packs. We have our Mojo exclusive packs right there. We'll save those for last. Here's the base uh, Bowman or the regular packs. All right, here we go. Looking for some of these good prospects. Sean Murphy, rookie card. Bruce Star Gratterall is a good one as well. Clark Schmidt. We've got a Reese Hines. Zach Brown. Hans Alberto and Mike Soroka. Nothing crazy in pack number one. Pack number two for Brian. By the way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope that you please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit it and please thumbs up the video. If you like these Target monthly $100 hauls that we do, Jesus Lusardo rookie card is a nice one for Bry. I can, I would probably put him above AJ Puck and Nico Horner on my list of top rookies from this year's class. 
All right, we have a, who's gonna be mentionable in here? There's J.J. Blade. He's probably the best one in there in terms of value. Next pack up. Last regular pack, there's a Jeff McNeil, Fernando Tatis Jr. Looking for Dominguez. We'll see if we can find him or not. There's Dustin May, rookie card, which is a nice one. And we didn't find him, so maybe he'll be hiding out in a mojo pack. Let's see what we've got. Last two packs, we have a Franklin Perez mojo. No color in this one. Royce Lewis. We've got a Nico Horner, Rookie of the Year Favorites card. Pretty nice. Christian Javier and Ulrich Boldarski, first Mojo Bowman card. Last pack of the day. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. We do have a purple. It is going to be Casey Mize. Nice out of uh, 250, Casey Mize, top pitching prospect in all of baseball, really. One of the top ones and definitely the top one of the Tigers system. So, Brian, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. My favorite two cards for you were the Soto Relic and the the Luis Robert Blue Parallel. Uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.